Hello friends. It's time for another project. Let's talk about the reasoning behind this. I am about to finish another palette, a, a, a different palette cleanser project. And this weekend is going to be some races and I need something that is not requiring a lot of thought, more meditative. And I have had, well, since Vlogmas, all of these minis on hold. And Lindsay, always yarn first, that gifted me this. I'll be back. Like I was saying, she was so generous to gift this to me that I've been wanting to like return a gift to her and just to let her know how much I thought of her, how special I felt like it was for her. Even though I wanted it as a giveaway, um, I think it was just a brilliant idea and a very thoughtful gesture. And um, I mean, I don't think she wants all these minis back. And I think it was part of like kind of releasing some of her stash and make, bringing joy to somebody else. So I feel like if I make it into something and then send it to her, like I really like gifting handmaids. And a lot of people that make things don't always get gifts. And so, and I know it can be more appreciated. So I decided... Sorry about all the interruptions. Uh, we just went and had lunch. But what I've decided on, I have been seeing so many people working on little lapkins and throws. And it's like blanket time. And I feel like this yarn would be so perfect for something like that. I'm really loving some of the habitation throw and uh, anthology throw that I've seen many people working on. So I think that I might go for the anthology throw because I think I could just continually work each color and it would look beautiful and it could be used as either a throw or couch cover or a shawl. It could be used in so many ways. I think that she would really love that and it's probably something that's unique that she might not already have. And she probably has memories with these yarns and it might be cool for her to, to have them all together. And since I could have a piece and she could have a piece, um, I'm excited about it. And DFW Fiberfest has just this week released the dates and like getting people excited about it this year. And I know that she went last year and that's why I watched her video and found her YouTube. And so I would love to be able to wear uh, my sweater and meet her and take a photo together and share that with y'all in the future. I'll probably video DFW Fiberfest this year. At any rate, um, I think I'll get that started this weekend. That was a very interesting cast on with a crochet hook. And then I used double pointed needles to get this far and I've just put them back on circulars. And now the fun begins. We are officially on the road now and our first gas stop and I am getting to add in the second color. So, ooh, that's a strap to my phone. Um, this little bit is all I got left and soon enough, I will be at 5% of the project. This designer is so cool because I think she must have trademarked this feature, but she gives you like a percentage of the amount of the project that you've completed at certain stages. And I kind of like that. It's just exciting. I don't know if that's going to apply with me because I'm just going to go for however long each color takes me. And that might be less or more than what she goes by in the design. But for right now, that only, like I'm not going to stitch in a little bit of whatever that gets me. I'll just snip that off, start this, we're good. So, so far on pattern.
can't stop, won't stop. Basically, every place is fair game to knit for me. As you can see, this Loomis and Loomis necklight is still being put to good use. I love car knitting. For me, it's rewarding to have something for that time spent, but I do know that some people get car sick. So sorry for y'all. If this is you, what do you do while traveling instead? Or where else is your favorite place to craft? We have just arrived at our destination, and as you can see, I got to tap into the third color. I am trying to do like Roy G. Bibb order, but we'll see how things go. I'm happy about it. Calling it a night now, though. I mean, I say a night, but it's like one in the morning. home sweet home and this is the progress that I made over the weekend I don't feel like I stitched every moment that I had and I did make a couple mistakes and so I had to tink back and fix those and that is like a lot when it comes to having 288 stitches um I think I fudged it on like maybe it was this no this round of meshy bits I think I, maybe I fudged it on that and I'm hoping that I didn't get a drop stitch somewhere. I'm hoping maybe I forgot to add a stitch or, um, or decreased in some way. I don't know. So I fudged that a little bit. It was, it's fine though. Right now I think it looks great and I got one extra of this color, and then I think I got extra, extra on this color, but I didn't make it around. I made it to like here, and then I, I added this one in to get me to the beginning again. Um, you can't tell that much when the color change happens though. And uh, what else? So now I'm like, I don't know how many I added to get to the color change here. And then now I'm well past it onto this one. I'm at this point not following when the color changes are happening. I'm just gonna be knitting as, I'm, as it goes and we'll see at the end how much more I have. Yay. I should have said before that I'm at like 576 stitches now and that I did add an, a little uh, adapter in here <laughs> what do they call those? I don't know, but so that I can add another cord in. So that's how you can see more of it. I'm thinking about adding one more in soon. It gets a little bit fiddly to have to slide all the stitches, but it's really fun to be able to see the big circle. Uh, this is really an addicting project. I don't want to stop. It's pretty fun to do the you know yarn over meshy bits and then to like get excited about the next color change and you know you know how I said before that I fudged it I don't th I don't think I had it wrong at all so I don't think I have any fear of a drop stitch I think that it was right what I did um so things are going pretty well I'm a few rows away from being at what it says is 35 percent complete but also I'm not following with the color changing that it says like I stopped even keeping track of how many extras extra rounds or how few rounds I'm doing and things are going to get a little bit crazy now with the colors you know I started with Roy G. Biv but I have some variegated colors and some solid like creamy types and grays um yeah so I don't know I'm just gonna get to stitching like wild 
even though I need to be working on another project. I'm going to work on this today and then tomorrow I'm probably going to start in another project and this will go on hold and I'll come back to it. I am at about 45% progress on this. I swear I was going to start my other project, but I didn't. I just can't stop knitting on this. I don't know how many times I can say that changing the color is so exciting. I almost think I wouldn't mind having annual like advent throws. I mean, at the same time, I don't know what this is like to wash and I need things that are going to be durable if I want like a blanket for it. But God, it's so beautiful. I hope that she loves this. I am nearly 60% complete. I added another extender, but it's still not enough for y'all to get the full picture or even for me to get the full idea as to how big this thing is going to be. Um, it is kind of overwhelming to be pushing all the stitches down. I think I've said that before, but it's getting even more so now. I'm still only at like 576 stitches. I'm going to be getting well over a thousand. It's like nearly 1200 where we complete it on. And um, I'm a little bit... Uh, scared of that <laughs> like the rounds are going to be super long then and I don't even think like the colors are going to last that long like this one the color didn't last very long by the way that round I totally like I really did mess it up and I really did fudge it because there was no way I was tinking back when the rounds are so like they feel so long now uh, by the end of it, I was like, I knew I messed up and it was fine. I just fudged it. It still has the same stitch counts and it'll still have the little holes. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody will like, nobody will know except you since I told you. Um, what else did I have to say? I love it. That's it for now. wiggly toes I am at like 75 percent and I can't believe like this is such a good stage where I could use it as warmth and I'm noticing like it is lovely like when I take it off I can feel a chill but it's not too toasty with this like it is very comfortable I love when you're working on a blanket and you get to kind of use it. I only have this many minis to go. So I've kind of just started this one. And this one looks like really tiny. The red is not in it. That's just a piece of thread um, from the bag it was in. But yeah, it looks, this one looks very tiny. So I don't even know if to count that one as like a real mini, but I'm going to do this one, then go to that color, then I'm going to hop right over to this red, white, and blue, and then I'm going to go on to this one. It's like, obviously single ply, and has like the black specks, and it's like gray neutrally, so then I'll do the black, and then I'll hop onto my full skein, and hopefully that's the border then.
I don't even remember what the last update was that I gave on this, but I'm probably at like 95% done for sure at this point. It's so fun to see like um, the color changes here. Like I have so many stitches. It, it goes up to almost 1200 stitches, I think. Um, and like you can just see the strips. They're such tiny strips because I have so many stitches on those minis. So I'm now on the full skein. And I think I'm just going to continue doing the border. Let's see. I'm at um, 209. And I think it goes up to 212 rounds. So I'm going to keep on going however long that yarn gets me, even though I'm really ready for it to be done. Because it's basically a two-row repeat for the whole border, but I love that. And I think it would be really pretty to have that thickness of that color on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I cannot believe that I've knit this fairly quickly. I also never really showed y'all me knitting at the racetrack this weekend. I didn't actually end up, I knit it like traveling there and then when we hung out with some friends and then I, um, I put it away and I had to knit like a couple hats. But the time before that, I actually was knitting during the racing and I totally forgot to document that part. I can't stop looking at all the different colors. It's just so fun. I cannot wait to see it off of the needles and just grasp the real gravity of how big this is. I almost wish I made this for my advent. I mean, the sweater's cool. But this is pretty cool, too. <laughs> it's a good admin idea for you. Oh my goodness, this thing is a beast. It's magnificent. It's beautiful. I love it so much. And I sure hope Lindsay's going to love it just as much. I'm going for shock value. I surely think she's going to be like, wow! <laughs> I would be if I received this. Oh, I've got to make another one. I did it, and I love it. It's amazing after being washed and blocked. I cannot believe this thing is as big as my table. Like, so I think it's cool that it could be used as like a shawl. I almost wish that it had like little holes around the sides of the circles so that I could put like my arms through it, or she could put her arms through it and wear it as like a cardigan incredible incredible like this is a little collar i love this i'm thinking maybe i need to make one of these for next vlogmas i don't know i need one for myself and i think i've decided that i'm not gonna do and like commit to an advent i just can't can't bear with it considering my previous experience such an investment and i haven't found one that was like oh i gotta have it the surprise of it kills me, but I still want to um, make an advent for somebody else to experience the same thing, especially if they've never experienced an advent before. Tell me how amazing this is and tell me that you're gonna make one.